All right, hey, Spreaker Channel 1, how you doing? It's Pastor Rick. Let's get going. Hey, we're going to do a delayed uh, recording here. This was uh, supposed to be or scheduled for Sunday, yesterday, at about 10.30, but you know the problems and issues. So we're going to kick it off. We're going to get going live on Restream TV for our Sunday night service, Bible study course. And again, on Restream TV, we've got Tin Can with us. We've got uh, Radio.co. And as always, our backup recording uh, and more. So let's see if we can get some church in on a <laughs> almost four o'clock here, uh, Monday, Christmas Day. Let's keep going. Welcome, friends, coast to coast and worldwide. You're live on the air with Pastor Rick. Good morning to you, friends. Right. Well, that's our intro, Spreaker. Let's get going. We got a lot to cover again live on Restream TV. So this is our kind of a preset, uh, a preset podcast here. So let's get going. All right, hang on here, friends. And let's see what we got on the menu. Yeah, let's see if I can get that. See if I can even see it. That'd be a big deal there amen friends so let's uh, see what we got all right there you are restream tv almost didn't hear or did well there's no cue on that one it's just a live a uh, little bit of a video here so this is the delayed podcast bear with me let me get all the uh <laughs> i gotta get all the monitors uh, taken care of here. So bear with me, you guys, as we get into our podcast here. Uh, resetting on that one. All right, so I got that up in the monitors. And I think we're okay there. Lots of problems with uh, our channel as well. But uh, you know how that goes. Uh, nothing changed here. So Anyway, listen, hey, it's Pastor Rick, Ministry Podcast Network, for a delayed podcast. It is Christmas morning, but uh, this was supposed to be yesterday's podcast, Sunday night, 10.30, uh, Bible study podcast there. And, uh, well, you know, I, I had some pretty bad issues uh, trying to get on here, so I just kept all the information, just like we did the last ones or a few ones before, and uh, I said, well, just keep all the information the same and put this out. And then hopefully Christmas late night tonight, I should be back on StreamYard uh, as I got the podcast kind of scheduled out for the rest of the week till the end of the month. So let's kind of see how things go. But uh, anyway, I am live. Good to see here. Uh, see you uh, in Studio A. Let's get our monitors pulled up. Uh, and uh, as I always do here. So, kids, behave yourself, hold your thoughts, said your, whatever it is you're commenting. So, you know, be nice and, you know, you're in church. So, uh, all right, let's get, uh, let's see, we want to get, uh, let's see, we want to go to radio.co UK and uh, go there. There it is, live on that one. And, of course, our backup channel on channel one, or three here. Why do I keep getting that uh, forgetful? All right, there it is. Uh, you're live on the air. Back up channel. How you doing? Amen. All right, give me a minute. Still, there it is. I got that in the monitors, got that in the headphones, so everything looks good. Sounds good, finally. Now, I don't know how long the, uh, <laughs> I don't know how long our Wi-Fi is going to hold up, but I'm putting a prayer protection around that because I want to make sure I get this podcast out here. Uh, let's see. Let's go to, uh, I think our channel here. There it is. I want to go to, see, not that one. I want to make sure uh, on a tin can. Let's go ahead and go there. Uh, amen. All right, tin can, you're up and running on the air. How you doing? Well, listen, <laughs> it's Pastor Rick here. Finally, Christmas morning. Uh, kind of again, kind of a delayed uh, podcast here. It's supposed to be Sunday's podcast, 
but uh, again, I uh, had some pretty bad issues, as always here. So I just kept all the information the same and, uh, you know, just tried to, <laughs> tried to go around everything. So it is now just about 4 a.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time here live in Studio A. Uh, again, I am still your host, Pastor Rick here. Ministry Podcast Network for Christmas morning, 2023. Can you believe that, friends? Well, like I said, we got a lot to cover uh, doing our series on 2 Corinthians chapter 5 through 7, or five, chapters 5 through 7, and uh, again, a whole lot more scriptures, friends, as I always like to do. So, welcome, come on in. Uh, bring your Bibles, your pens, papers, notebook, tablets, highlighters for your highlighters. And uh, come on in. Like I said, doors are open, church is on. We're going to pray it in, and then we're going to get right into our podcast here. Lots of notes, lots of uh, series going on. Uh, again, our, our uh, what is it, uh, Second Corinthians chapters 5 through 7 as we continue that series. Let's pray it in on this Christmas morning here. Again, a delayed, a slightly delayed podcast. This was supposed to be Sunday night's. Uh, as always, uh, issues. So we're going to keep going. Uh, welcome. Come on in. Have a seat. Let's get going. Let's pray it in, my wonderful friends. Heavenly Father, I come before you again, always humbled and appreciative of the opportunities I get here to, to share your word, share your message, and uh, glory uh, and glorify you, Father God. Thank you for everything. Uh, thank you for uh, the day, this, you know, everything going on. Thank you for that. Uh, you know, and uh, as I always pray for family, friends, everybody connected, everybody watching, subscribing to the channels. Thank you for bringing in, uh, you know, uh, bringing them in to hear the word. Uh, as always, again, uh, thank you for uh, protection over all the equipment. This is your church, your service. And I am grateful and thankful and always humbled. So thank you for that. And uh, as I, uh, you know, get another Bible study here, I thank you for all that. Uh, I just glorify you, Father God, and give it all to you, no matter what. No matter what it looks like, Father God, I give it all over to you right now as we have church this morning. So thank you for that. Uh, and uh, uh, I just want to uh, pray in Jesus' name right now. I pray. Amen and amen. All right, my wonderful friends. How y'all doing? I know it's been a long, long minute. Let me uh, let me get a uh, quick post out to, uh, let's see, let me get a, go ahead and get a quick post out here. Not going to do all of them, but I did want to get at least uh, one out. Amen. All right, so live, 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 my friends. That's right. Uh, I did want to get this posted out, so hold on here, friends. Just a couple of them. All right. All right, hold on here. Give me a second. Oops, <laughs> I'm trying to uh, multi, like, what is it, uh, multi, whatever it is, and I, I'm not <laughs> so good at it, that's why the glow ears on my phone there, all uh, right, amen, all right. Okay, there it is. That's one out. I will get the rest of these uh, posted out uh, after the broadcast here. So you guys that are uh, getting those on a kind of, of a delayed uh, response there, don't worry. I'll, it'll be up and uh, out, uploaded to all the channels. Oh, let's take a deep breath. You know, my friends, it is been a, a Sunday battle, <laughs> lots of happening, lots of stuff going on, I uh, couldn't get anything going, I think our, our I don't know what's going on, but y'all know the problem, I'm going to keep moving, we got a lot to cover, let's get right into it, grab that fresh cup of coffee, uh, and again, uh, live on 
Tin Can live on Radio.co UK, back up on uh, Spreaker 1 and 3, and of course, live right now on X, LinkedIn, Spotify Podcast. Uh, who else we got? Uh, uh, Gab Social and Truth Social, and so many more. Wherever you listen and dial into your podcast, friends, that's where you can find the podcast here. So thank you guys for that. Sending shout-outs to my sisters, of course, sons, family, uh, everybody on this Christmas morning. Uh, again, just a little delayed from yesterday. That's, you know, that, that it's going to happen. I Basically, I, you know, if, if uh, I have problems with our Wi-Fi, uh, on restream, well, uh, even on Streamyard, uh, I uh, it's so much <laughs> problem, well, a headache, kind of a headache, I guess. Not really, but uh, you know, change all the information out, delay, you know, uh, delete the podcast. Ever everything's been put in and set up. Um, it's it would be easier. I know it's kind of a, a I don't know, I don't know what you call it, but. Uh, <laughs> I, I I know I'd rather not have to uh, not have to uh, delete anything. Like I said on the last few podcasts, I'd rather just leave it all up and just go live at that time scheduled. But again, with uh, Wi-Fi problems not being solved yet, not being resolved, uh, I I'm like, well, I don't know what to do. So anyway, hey, don't forget Twitch TV again, Ministry Podcast, live on Twitch TV if you're watching over there. Thank you for that. Uh, all right, so uh, enough all that, right? Let's move on. We're posted out on a couple of channels. Well, one channel right now, but I'll get everybody out. Uh, uh, Christian watches the Heavenly Sign for the marker over there. And, of course, uh, send a shout out to Pastor Ina, Children, or Church of God's Children. Uh, over on Facebook, IMVU, uh, YouTube, and of course now on Gab Social. So check that out. Soma Numa Padilla, a blessed life on this Christmas morning, friends. Again, um, a little bit of a delayed <laughs> schedule. I can't help it, you know. Uh, I try to do what I can, but uh, you know, dealing with everything. And so, anyway, we're moving on. How you doing? What is going on, friends? I know it's it's Christmas morning here. Uh, 2023 again already. Can you believe that? But again, delayed. Uh, this is the 24th, 10:30 Sunday night, live on stream podcast here on Restream TV. Having some fresh cup of coffee as always. Now again, I have all these podcasts scheduled out for the rest of the month. Uh, I I'm gonna do an probably a, a, a audio podcast on Saturday. I haven't decided whether I'm going to go on StreamYard uh, or do an audio podcast on Spreaker. So that's why there's nothing scheduled for the 31st of this month. So I'm going to see how January goes, what we get, you know, how we get through the bills, the, the finances, uh, the upgrades if I get them. Blog Talk Radio is still out. They're still having delay problems on their call-in line. Uh, so... That's an issue as we get into the end of the year here. Uh, so I don't know uh, what will happen with that. But uh, I'm going to, you know, kind of still waiting on it. replies from the management. So we'll see how that goes. All right. Fresh, brewed, cooked cup of coffee. Let's get to it. Uh, we got uh, our opening schedules, uh, friends, our Oh, what do we got? We got the uh, Sinner's Prayer of Salvation. Let's go to our podcast notes, friends. Dear God, I know that I am a sinner, and I need a Savior. I want to turn away from my sinful life to the life you have planned for me. Please forgive me for my sins, cleanse me of my past, and make me new. I know your Son, Jesus Christ, died on the cross for me, and I believe in my heart that you raised him from the dead. At this very moment, I accept, confess, and proclaim Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior to live in my heart from this day forward. Thank you, Jesus, for your grace that has saved me from my sins and has given me eternal life. Please send your Holy Spirit to guide me and to help me to do your will, or to do your will, right? <laughs> Amen. 
uh, for the rest of my life. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. All right, now I had to switch out glasses, got another pair, and they didn't work too well. I could not see anything out of it, so I had to kind of go backwards a little bit on uh, on the old ones I used to have. Uh, and even those aren't, uh, they're not working out for me. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I do have my, <laughs> I do have my replacement glasses. Uh, again, problem with that is I can't see the screen. I can read, which is more important, but I can't watch the monitor. So let's try them. Let's do a glasses, uh, change out here, friends. Cause I, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm having these, these issues here. So let's uh, <laughs> let's do that. I can't even see the monitor in front of me. That's terrible. Uh, boy. Well, uh, let's get to our serenity prayer, friends. Good morning to you. All right. Uh, like I said, just a little after 4 a.m. here. So serenity prayer. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Living one day at a time. Enjoying one moment at a time, accepting hardships as a pathway to peace, taking as Jesus did the sinful world as it is, not as I would have it, trusting that he will make all things right. Friends, watch this, if I surrender to his will. That I may be reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy with him forever in the next. Friends, amen and amen. All right, let's get right straight into our podcast here. Lord's Prayer, friends, go ahead and say this with me. Of course, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. A kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen, church, and amen. All right, rolling right through it. Again, uh, Ephesians 6, 10 through 20, the whole armor of God here, friends. Good morning to you. Now, finally, my brethren and sisters, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod to the preparation of the gospel of peace, and above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, Take the helmet of salvation, the sword of the Spirit, which we know is the Word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And for me that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, that their enemy speak boldly as I ought to speak. Amen and amen. All right. Well, there you go, friends. Uh, <laughs> we're right into the podcast. Good morning to you. Chapter 5, uh, if you will, friends, let's go ahead and just dig right into the Word this morning, uh, you know, and uh, take a look at 2 Corinthians chapters 5 through 7 on this podcast. So, again, Sunday. <laughs> Sunday night podcast. I... I went to start everything up and did just, I don't know, I like I said, I don't know whether to kick it, throw it out the window, cry, or stop, pray, and have some coffee. I think that's the better one. <laughs> anyway, you know how it goes, my friends here. Uh, again, not having, uh, not having Block Talk Radio, uh, that, that's out. That's that's uh, kind of causing some problems. I'm waiting on a response. So uh, we'll see how that goes, I guess. I don't know. Um, so it's kind of a, you know, hurry up and wait and see. Their, their servers are out. So something happened 
and their servers are uh, are out with the connection line or something. Something's going on with them. So we'll operate around it, friends, as always, and uh, we'll we'll keep going. So all right, give me a minute. And let me pull that up. Checking the monitors here. All right. All right. So there it is. Uh, you guys on YouTube checking the podcast out. Thank you guys for joining me live this morning. Uh, amen. Now, I don't know if y'all kind of, well, I guess you wouldn't because I deleted it out. But right when I went on to go on the last podcast, I must have sneezed about 30 times right in a row for some reason. I got really clogged up and then started sneezing out of control. And uh, I don't know what happened. I don't know where. Uh, let's see. Make sure. Uh, I don't know what happened or what caused it, but it was the strangest thing ever. Uh, so. I'm just telling you, there might be a couple of thousand sneezes in aisle six, friends. So get that brother some extra coffee and some Kleenex. I don't know. <laughs> so we're going to keep going. We're going to keep rolling. Uh, again, get right into the Bible study, friends. Right straight into our word this morning as we do at, here. Uh, and... Uh, yeah, we're going to keep rolling again as the end of the year happens here. We're, we're closing out 2023 and rolling right into 2024. I'll see how things go with the finances and the money or, you know, of course, the money. But uh, the uh, Wi-Fi uh, changeover, uh, we're supposed to do that. So we'll see. But uh, bless you guys for hanging out with me, hanging in there with me. And uh, subscribing to the channels back up to 190 again on YouTube, so that's awesome. And I'm glad they finally fixed that. Uh, bless you guys, uh, of course, on all the channels across the board. So thank you guys, bless you, shalom. Uh, Shabbat shalom on this uh, again, delayed response or delayed uh, recorded podcast here. Now, uh, again, like I said, I should be back on later tonight on StreamYard. I'm going to try to keep those schedules, but again, with all the problems and issues uh, with the Wi-Fi stuff. So, for now, you're here in church. Come on in, my friends. All right, Chapter 5. Let's get that uh, note taken care of here. And uh, All right, so there it is. So, we'll leave that like that. All right, chapter 5, 2 Corinthians, our continued series here, friends. Uh, right, there it is. So, for we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building uh, of God and house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. For the, in this we groan earnestly, desire to be clothed upon the house which is from heaven. If so, be that being clothed, we shall not be found naked. For we that are in this tabernacle do groan, being burdened, not for that we, or for that we would be unclothed, or clothed, but clothed upon. That mortality, get the notes there, might be swallowed up of life. And that's uh, going to be over in 1 Corinthians 15.53. Now remember the side scriptures I have in the, in the King James here. So, as we look at a building in heavens, friends. Now, let's go to verse 5, uh, right here. Now, he that hath wrought us up for the selfsame thing is God, who also hath given unto us the earnest of the Spirit. Isaiah 29, 23 on that one. Now, therefore, we are always confident, knowing that whilst we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord. For we walk by faith, church, not... By sight, too many walk by sight, not by faith, and that's that's the key right there. So that's going to be over in Romans eight twenty four. So we are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. Wherefore we labor that whether present or absent, we may be accepted of Him. For we must all appear. Now watch this. This is the key. Don't get scared, friends. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, 
that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. Knowing, therefore, the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto God, and I trust also are made manifest in your consciences. Now, I've got a couple of them for you. It's going to be over in Jude 31.23, and, or Job 31.23, and Jude 23. Uh, let's go to 12. For we commend not ourselves again unto you, but give you occasion to glory on our behalf, that ye may have somewhat to answer them, which glory in appearance and not in heart. For whether we be beside ourselves, it is to God, or whether we be sober, it is for your cause. For the love of Christ constraineth us, because we uh, thus judge that if one died for all, then we're all dead. Uh, 15, and that he died for all, that they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves, but unto him which died for them, church, and rose again. Amen, right? Wherefore, henceforth know we no man after the flesh, yea, though we have known Christ after the flesh, Yet now, henceforth, know we him no more. And I got a triple shot of scriptures for you on this one. Matthew 15, 20, or 12, 50. Sorry about that, friends. Uh, give me a minute. Amen. Sleeping laptops again. Uh, Matthew 12, 50, Galatians 5, 6, and Colossians 3, 11. Now, 17, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away, and behold, all things are become new, friends. Amen, right there. All right, and all things are of God, who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ, and hath given to us the ministry of reconciliation. Now, in 19, give me a minute. We are having something going on here. Well, if anything, if the what, if the you know, if the video part goes out, we still have uh, our uh, audio part. So I'll just let that roll. Uh, unfortunately, that's what's happening with everything here. So it looks like Twitch TV is out. Strange. Well. Huh. Again, <laughs> nothing surprises me here, friends. Nothing surprises me. It is amazing that all the problems and all the issues, everything else looks okay, but uh, it just not surprising here. So, uh, I don't know what's going on here. Well, we're going to keep rolling. So let's keep going. We just went through Matthew 12, 50, Galatians 5, 6, Colossians 3, 11 here. Uh, amen. So, all right. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's happening with our channels again, uh, friends. So uh, we're going to try to keep going here. So 17, as I try to get Twitch TV back on the air here. Oh, mercy. you got to be kidding me. All right. Anyway, I, all things are of God who has reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and has given to us the ministry of reconciliation. Again, let's go on to 19. To it that God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and hath committed unto us the word of reconciliation. That's Romans 3.24. And then we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God did beseech you by us. And we pray you in Christ's steed, by, or be you reconciled to God. For he hath made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be the righteousness of God in him. Isaiah 53, verse 6. All right, well, <laughs> that's not good. There it is. All right, so I think that's out. Okay, so 
it, it might be spinning again, uh, friends, with everything going on. So uh, I'm not, I'm just going to kind of plow through it and see what happens. But we got the audio part of it recorded. Uh, we're here on the main channel. It looks like it's okay. Uh, thank you guys for joining me here. Chapter 6, 2 Corinthians. Let's read it. Uh, we then as workers together with him beseech you also that ye receive not the grace of God in vain. For he saith, I have heard thee in a time accepted, in the day of salvation have I secured thee. Uh, behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Isaiah 49, 8. Giving no offense in anything, that the minister or ministry be not blamed, friends. <clears throat> but in all things approving ourselves as the ministers of God, in much patience and afflictions and necessities and distresses. 1 Corinthians 4, 1. In stripes and imprisonments, in tumults, in labors, in watchings and fasting, by pureness, by knowledge, by long suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Ghost, by love, unfeigned, friends. And there you go. All right, I'm going to do something here, friends. Give me a minute. Uh... I'm going to cut that channel 5 off and uh, see if that doesn't help uh, here. So, again, major issues. So, we're in chapter 6. Uh, let's go to 7. By the word of truth, by the power of God, by the armor of righteousness on the right hand and on the left. 1 Corinthians 2, 4, 2 Timothy 4, 7. By honor and dishonor, by evil report and good report, as deceivers, friends, and yet true. Uh, as unknown and yet all known, as dying and beholding we live, <clears throat> as chastened and not killed. As sorrowful, yet all we're rejoicing, as poor yet making many rich. As often nothing, or having nothing, and yet possessing all things. O ye Corinthians, our mouth is open unto you. One's heart is enlarged. Second Corinthians, I uh, believe that's 1.3. Now let's go to verse 12. Ye are not straightened in us, uh, but ye are straightened in your own bulls. Again, delayed problems. All right, we're going to keep rolling. Uh, hold on here. So we are straightened in your own bowls. Now for a recompense in the same I speak, get that corrected here, as unto you, my children, be ye also enlarged. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? Uh, and what communion hath light with darkness? Deuteronomy 7.2 and what conquered hath Christ with Belial? Or what part hath he hath uh, that believeth on an infidel? And what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God. Uh, let's see. As God has said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you, Isaiah 52, 11. I will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. All right, let's roll on to chapter 7 here in 2 Corinthians, friends. As again, he's telling us to uh, be ye separate. We're in the world, but we're not of the world, as tough as that can be at times. You know, we still have to deal with work. We've got to deal with traffic. We've got to deal with, the, you know, all the situations in life. But we have our Heavenly Father to rely on, friends. And that should give us uh, that, you know, the peace that he gives us, friends, from that, that light, that glory. Amen. All right, chapter 7. Uh, <laughs> let me see if I could get a lid. Well, I dropped my lid on my pen, so now we'll keep rolling with it. All right, chapter 7, 2 Corinthians this morning. Amen, friends. All right, having therefore these promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh 
Uh, let's see. Uh, the flesh and spirit perfecting holiness in the fear of God. 2 Corinthians 6, 17. Receive us. We have wronged no man. We have corrupted no man. And we have defrauded no man. As he tells us, be not unequally yoked here. So let's go to verse 3. I speak not this to condemn you. For I have said before that ye are in our hearts uh, to die and live with you. Great is my boldness of speech towards you. Great is my glorifying or glorying of you. I am filled with comfort. I am exceeding joyful in all our tribulation. 1 Corinthians 1, 4. For when we were coming to Macedonia, our flesh had no rest, but we were troubled on every side. Without were fightings within, friends, were fears. Nevertheless, God that comforted those that are cast down comforted us by the coming of Titus, not and not by his coming only, but by the consolation wherewith he was comforted in you. When he told us your earnest desire, your mourning, your uh, fervent mind toward me, so that I rejoice the more. For though I made you sorry with a letter, I do not repent. Though I did repent, for I perceived that the same epistle hath made you sorry, though it were but for a season. Now I rejoice, not that you were made sorry, but that you sorrowed to repentance, or ye sorrowed to repentance. For ye were made sorry after a godly manner, that ye might receive damage by us in nothing. For godly sorrow worketh repentance to salvation, not to be repented of, but the sorrow of the world worketh death. For behold, this self same thing that ye, uh, ye sorrowed after a godly sort, what carefulness it wrought in you! Yea, what clearing of yourselves! Yea, what indignation! Uh, yea, what fear! Yea, what vehement, uh, vehement desire, yea, what zeal, yea, what revenge. In all things ye have approved yourself to be clear in this manner. Let's go on, or matter, let's go on to 12. Wherefore, though I wrote unto you, I did it not for his cause that, uh, that had done this wrong, nor for his cause that suffered wrong, but that our care for you in the sight of God might appear unto you. 2 Corinthians 2.4 Now, therefore, we were comforted in your comfort, yea, and exceedingly the more joyed we for the joy of Titus, because his spirit was refreshed by you all. But if I have boasted anything to him of you, I am not ashamed. But as we spake... Uh, all things to you in truth, even so our boasting, which made, or I made before Titus, is found of truth, and his inward affection is more abundant, uh, let's see, toward you, whilst he remembereth the obedience of you all. How, with fear and trembling, uh, ye received him, I rejoice, therefore, that I have confidence in you in all things. And that's where we're going to end that right there. We're going to do, uh, I believe, uh, friends, we are going to continue. Um, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Eight through ten on the next broadcast. So we'll kind of see how that goes. Again, I never know. Now, some of these I might pre-tape and then uh, upload them to the channel. I didn't like to do that. I like to do live. But for some reason, it's kind of holding up more uh, if I pre-record uh, the podcast. I don't know why. I don't know what the difference is. But uh, it uh, it seems to be working out different if I kind of pre-record it. So. I never know, my friends. All right. Well, again, lost my cap but i have a spare i think uh yeah i do uh <laughs> always got a plan a to a plan z friends okay uh how you doing christmas morning 
Uh, again, a delayed recording here, the 24th. This is supposed to be Sunday night's podcast, but uh, again, didn't change the information. Just wanted to roll with it. It'll kind of set out as Sunday service. And then I should be back on uh, tonight. I don't know. Like I said, it depends on our Wi-Fi. It depends on uh, how that's acting up and what's actually going on with it. I never know. Uh, again, that's why not only the injuries, not only the personal issues going on with me, um, but uh, massive issues, massive Wi-Fi problems that we're having. So it's been an, a rough couple of months. I I got hurt and. I was like, where's my backup? I need help. <laughs> so, uh, again, uh, not complaining. Praise God through all the infirmities. Praise God through all the uh, injuries, all the Wi-Fi problems. Uh, you know, I did ask for this, and I did pray for it. So, careful what you pray for. <laughs> I'm just saying. It, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> He definitely slowed me down a little bit, you know, and uh, trying to keep up here. I don't want you guys to have too many delayed podcasts and a schedule, you know, and gaps and stuff that's going on. I didn't want that. Uh, so uh, trying to do my best and fight through it and, and heal up. I'm getting a little better. I'm able to set up a little bit longer without my ribs uh, hurting too much. Uh, thank God, right? Uh, so <laughs> I'm just... Again, as I always say, I'm trying to do what God has called me to do. I know this is what I'm supposed to be doing, no matter how I fight the flesh. Don't want to do it. Who cares? Nobody cares what I'm doing. I'm, you know, kind of a whatever the word is. But I, I, that's coming from the devil. All that negativity is coming from the enemy. He just doesn't want us to preach this word. You guys that do this, you know what I'm talking about. You can relate to that. Uh, he doesn't want, to, the devil doesn't want this word out. So he tries to use whatever design he can do to slow us down, throw us off, stop us, or attempt to stop us. And we just can't listen to that foolishness, friends. So <laughs> fight through it, keep going. Uh, don't listen to that mess. It's a hot mess on a Sunday. Well, not Sunday, but uh, it's a hot. it's a hot mess on a Monday afternoon in the sun. With your coffee. I don't know. Anyway, let's keep rolling. We got more for you. Second Timothy chapters one through four. That's on the list. That's on the menu. Let's get to it. Uh Amen. Where a page am I looking for? Man. All right. And then some of it, you know, my own I I just I've been going through this kind of this weird phase, strange phase where I just, you know, it's a lot of work. Again, you guys can relate to do this. You, you know what I'm talking about. It's a lot of work to put these, you know, to get the, to get these together and, and, you know. But, again, I prayed for it. I prayed for the increase. Pile it on, God. Is that all you got? Is, is that all you can do for me? Well, yeah. Well, I got corrected hardcore on that, big time on that. And he said, okay, I'm going <laughs> to throw on something. And uh, there you go. So this is, you know, this is where I'm at. So I'm going to try to get these out uh, a little bit more often now that I'm feeling a little better. Uh, you know, um, again, uh, probably late nights. Probably going to change the schedule over to uh, 11 o'clock. Uh, as you know, as late nights is that's about the best time I can do right now. Uh, unfortunately, again, with the daytime not being available. Uh, with too much, you know, all the all the problems and issues uh, we always have, uh, the interference and stuff. So anyway, so it may be after ten. I may have to just keep the schedule one, you know, once a day, uh, Monday to Sunday after ten. Uh, now I do have Tuesday is going to be an audio podcast on Spreaker, so I won't be doing the video part. Uh, that's why you don't see it on the schedule. Basically, uh, basically it's going to be um as i said monday to uh friday I don't have anything scheduled for sun or for saturday or sunday yet because that's going to be the first of the uh january so i'm not sure like i said it's all up in the air i don't know what's going to happen there with that so oh we don't know <laughs> we don't know i don't know i just keep rolling with what i know because I don't know. 
<laughs> whatever that means. Anyway, good morning to you, friends. I uh, always uh, grateful to be here with you. All right, so you guys are live on YouTube. Welcome, and uh, appreciate you dropping on by the studio. Amen for this delayed podcast here. All right, so 2 Timothy 1 through 4, let's read it. Let's get into it again. Now, this is, again, kind of a uh, reset podcast, rescheduled podcast for Sunday's podcast, well, Bible study. Uh, Amen. And a couple of repeat scriptures I want to share with you again, as I always like to do and enjoy doing that. Uh, 2 Timothy chapters 1 through 4. Talk about that fivefold ministry here. All right. Now, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, according to the promise of life, which is in Christ Jesus, 2 Corinthians 1 1 and Titus 1 2, to Timothy, my dearly beloved son, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord, 1 Timothy 1 2. I thank God, whom I serve for my forefathers with pure conscience. Though without ceasing, I have remembrance of thee in my prayers night and day. Now greatly desire to see thee, being mindful of thy tears, that I may be filled with joy. 2 Timothy 4.9 When I call to remembrance the unfeigned faith that is in thee, which dwelt first in thy grandmother Lois and thy mother Eunice. And I persuaded that in thee also. Acts 16 verse 1. 6 here. Now, uh, wherefore, I put thee in remembrance, that thou stir up the gift of God, which is in thee by the putting on of my hands. For God had not given us the spirit of fear, church, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, uh, his prisoner, but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel, according to... Again, getting back to this, the power of God. Romans 1.16, who has saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in Christ Jesus before the world began. Romans 3.20, 1 Thessalonians 4.7. Uh, but as now made manifest by the appearing of our Savior, Jesus Christ, who hath abolished death and hath brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. Romans 16, 26, whereunto I am an appointed, a, or I am appointed a preacher, an apostle, and a teacher of the Gentiles, uh, non-Jews, of course, uh, Acts 9, 15. For the which cause I also suffer these things, nevertheless I am not ashamed, for I know whom I have believed and am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. Uh, Hold fast the form of sound words, which thou hast heard of me, in faith and love which is in Christ Jesus. That good thing which was committed unto thee, keep by the Holy Ghost which dwelleth in us. This thou knowest, that all they which are in Asia be turned away from me, of whom are Phygellus and Hermogenes. The Lord give mercy unto the house of Otis for us, uh, as he left often, or as he oft refreshed me, and was not ashamed of my chain. Matthew 5, 7. But when he was in Rome, he sought me out very diligently and found me. Go on to 18 here. The Lord granted to him that he may be found or may find mercy of the Lord in that day. And in how many things he ministered unto me at Ephesus. Thou knowest very well. Matthew 25, 34. I got to get some coffee here. Get a little hydrated. I don't know why. It's the cool, crisp air. As it is, again, a cold, cool 29, but we got the heat uh, turned up just a tad bit here in the studio this morning. As I get a chance to run it for a while and heat up the studio and, you know, move on. Keep keep doing this. So, you know, cozy, nice and cozy. I hope you guys are warm. Wherever you're watching, wherever you're at, 
Uh, friends, I hope you guys are, are safe and warm on this day. So bless you guys for being here this morning. Now, in chapter 2, <clears throat> as we see in 2 Timothy, as we go through 1 through 4, uh, thou, therefore, my son, be among, or be strong in the grace. <laughs> be among the strong of the grace. I don't know. No, it says be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus, Ephesians 6.10. And the things that, that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, and the same commit thou to faithful men, who shall be able to teach others also. Again, we talk about the fivefold ministry. Now, thou, thou Therefore, watch this. Uh, therefore, endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that we or he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. 1 Corinthians 9.25 And if a man also strive for masteries, yet is he not crowned, except he draw, uh, strive lawfully. 1 Corinthians 9.25. Now the husband man that laboreth must be first partaker of the fruits. Consider what I say and the Lord give thee understanding in all things. Remember that Jesus Christ of the seed of David was raised from the dead according to my gospel where I suffer trouble. Alright. Uh, let's see here. As an evil doer, even unto bonds, for the word of God is not bound, and therefore I endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may also obtain the salvation which is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. Second Corinthians one six. It is a faithful saying, for if we be dead with him, we shall also live. Now that's the key, friends. Don't don't get it twisted. Uh, for if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. That's Romans 6, 5. If we suffer, watch this, uh, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he shall also, now this is the key, he will also deny us. Uh, Romans, let's see, nope, that's Matthew 10, 33. 33, if we believe not, yet he abideth faithful, he cannot deny himself. Of these things, put them in remembrance, charging them before the Lord that they strive not about words to no profit, but to the subverting of the hearers. Study to shew thyself approved unto God. And again, this is our another key verse here. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of the truth. But... Shun profane and vain babblings, friends. For they will increase unto more ungodliness, 1 Timothy 4.17. And their word will eat as it doth the canker, of whom is Hymenaeus and Philetus. Who, according in 18, the truth of Erd, saying that the resurrection is past already, and overthrow the faith of some as we clearly see in the end times, as I talk about constantly on here, uh, the end times. It'll overthrow the faith of some. 1 Corinthians 15, 17, I believe that one is, looks like 15, oh, 15, 12. So there you go, 1 Corinthians 15, 12. So in 19, nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure, Having the seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his, and let every one that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. We're moving on here as we continue. Again, got to find a, a safer spot and a better place for this clipboard. Kind of like it there, but it gets wrecked, uh, which is not good. So anyway, we're rolling on here. Let's move on. 20. But in uh, a great house, there are not only vessels of gold uh, and of silver, but also of wood and earth, and some to honor and some to dishonor, Romans 9.21. If a man therefore purge himself for these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified and meet for the master's use, and prepared unto every good work, Isaiah 52, verse 11 there. Flee also youthful lusts, but... Follow, hang on here, 
right. Um, let's see. Amen. All right. So, uh, let's see. Where, where do we go? We left off somewhere. All right. Okay, so 30 or 22 here. Flee also youthful lust, but follow righteousness, faith, charity, peace. Uh, with them that are call that uh, call on the Lord out of a pure heart, Acts nine fourteen. But as I again feel like I'm going to sneeze here, so I'm trying to hold on. I, it just started again, so I don't know. But we're going to keep moving. But foolish and unlearned questions avoid, knowing that they do gender stripes. First Timothy one four. And a servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all men, apt to teach, and here's again, patience, friends, that's the key, or patience. Now, in meekness, instructing those who oppose themselves, if God peradventure will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth, and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil, who are taken captive by him at his will, 1 Timothy 3, 7. All right, let's roll on to 3 here, friends. This, know also that in the last days, friends, perilous times shall come. For men will, shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful and unholy, without natural affection. Truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, uh, as I just, as I just witnessed this, or just got something here. False accusers, incontinent, fierce, despises of those that are his. Romans one thirty one. Traitors, heady, high minded, uh, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. Philippians three nineteen. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. Second Thessalonians three six. Boy, this this scripture, this part, could not be any more relevant and spot on to what we've seen in the last three years. I'm just saying we're not political here, but I'm just saying uh, it, this is so relevant to what we've seen over the last three years. All the issues, I, again, not political here. I'm just pointing out biblical facts, big, uh, biblical statements here that are factual. I, uh, what more can I say, friends? Think about this yourself. Contemplate this and put this together. Think about it. It's amazing, but not surprising. It's biblical here about what what's happened, like I said, over the last few years. It's real relevant. So let's move on. Uh, <laughs> let's move on to this one. Uh, that's why this chapter is so relevant to, again, to, to now. So in six, for of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly, uh, silly women laden with sins, led away with divers lusts, Matthew 23, 14, uh, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Now, as Janus and Jabbers withstood Moses, so do these who resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds reprobate concerning the faith, but they shall proceed no further, for their folly shall be manifested uh, are manifest unto all men as theirs also was. All right. Hang on here a second. Just doing a couple of quick spots here. All right. Uh, there it is. All right. So let's keep going here. But they shall not or shall proceed no further, for their folly shall be manifest unto all men as theirs also was. Again, repeating that one. Now, in 10, but thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long suffering, charity, patience, persecutions, afflictions, which come unto me at Antioch, at Iconium, and Lystra. Uh, what persecutions I endured, but out of them all the Lord delivered me. 
Psalm 34, 19, 2 Corinthians 1, 10. Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. Again, did you hear that, friends? Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. Joshua 17, 14. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Uh, as we preach the word. But, in 14, but continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. 2 Timothy 1, 13. And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to Make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. John 5.39 there. Again, that's our part of our key scriptures there. Uh, all scriptures given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished uh, unto all good works, uh, 1 Timothy 6, 11. Now, let's go on to chapter 4 here in 2 Timothy, friends. So I charge thee, therefore, before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing in his, in his kingdom, Acts 10, 42, 2 Timothy 2, 14, preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine, first Timothy four thirteen. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall be turned unto fables. But watch thou at all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist. Make full proof of thy ministry. Acts 21, 8, 2 Timothy 1, 8 there. For I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. Philippians 1, 23. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. And again, that's our another uh, one of our key scriptures there. 1 Corinthians 9, 24. 1 Timothy 6, 12. Uh, henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. 1 Corinthians 9.24, 1 Peter 5.4 there. So in 9, do thy diligence to come shortly unto me, for Demas hath forsaken me, having loved this present world, and is departed into Thessalonica, Crescens to or Cretans to Galatia, Titus unto Dalmatia, Colossians 4:15, 1 John 2:15. Uh, Only Luke is with me. Take Mark, he says, and bring him with thee, for he is profitable for, he, uh, for me for the pro, uh, ministry. And to Chicus have I sent to Ephesus, uh, Acts 20 verse 4, Colossians 4:7. That cloak that I left at Troas in Carpus or with Carpus, when thou comest, bring with thee, and the books, but especially the parchments. Now, that's another key uh, right there, too, especially the parchments. Alexander the coppersmith did me much evil. The Lord reward him according to his works, of whom be thou where, uh, I think, uh, or thou where also, for he hath greatly withstood our words. And my answer uh, at first, my answer, no man stood with me, but all men forsook me. I pray God that it may not be laid to their charge. Uh, he says here as we continue, notwithstanding in 17, uh, the Lord stood with me and strengthened me that by me the preaching might be fully known and that all Gentiles might hear. I was delivered out of the mouth of the lion, Psalm 22:21. And the Lord shall deliver me from the evil, from every evil work and will preserve me unto uh, his heavenly kingdom. To whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Galatians 1.5. Salute Prisca and Aquila. The, uh, let's see, says here in the household of Onesphorus, 
Uh, Erastus abode at Corinth, but Trophimus have I led to Millennium or a Miletum sick, Acts 19.22. Do thy diligence to come before winter. Eubulus greeteth thee in Pudens uh, and Linus and Claudia and all the brethren, 2 Timothy 4.9. Uh, the Lord Jesus Christ be with thy spirit. Grace be with you. Amen. Amen. What a great scripture. That is awesome. All right. There is our first hour, friends, as we go into Titus. And I believe that's what we're going to do. Titus chapters 1 through 3 here. Uh, first hour, tin can. You guys are live, Pastor Rick. This is a, uh, well, uh, delayed podcast from Sunday, the 24th. It is Christmas morning, after five, almost five o'clock in the morning. Uh, I'll see you on the next one. Talk to you on the next podcast. Friends, you guys take care. Thank you guys for joining me. All right. Um, let's see. All right, so that's going out. We're going to kind of shift a little bit here. We are going to go into uh, Titus, friends. So bear with me. We're going to get a couple of things kind of reset here. We're going to go into Titus 1-3. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Uh, hope you guys are doing well. Hope you had a great weekend. Uh, friends, I missed you. This is always rough when I can't get online, and, you know, I'm kind of relying on that. Uh, you know, and I kind of like I, I it, it upsets me that again we pay so much money out for the service and then we don't get anything. I don't get anything here in the studio, even though we got a backup line right here. It still is affected, and I I'm trying to work around it, do the best I can with it. But uh, you know, like I said, we'll kind of always see what happens here. So, all right, there's the podcast. You guys on Tin Can, you guys will get that. See, man, thank you guys. Blessing for that support there. Pretty awesome. And then, all right, so I'm just waiting for it. There it is. All right, so there it is up and running, and we will go to the tablet for the monitor here. Amen. So I ended up biting my lip right before I went on. Uh, I was having uh, some dinner late or early breakfast uh, thing going on. And I bit my lip. So uh, I've been battling it with the whole podcast. Like right a couple minutes before I actually went on, I was having kind of a breakfast morning thing. And I bit my lip, and it's kind of hurts, and I'm, so I'm. That's why I'm kind of adjusting and stuff. It's it's kind of my friend just uh, came on. Kanichiwa, don't I got to. Uh, my friend from Japan just popped on for a second and laughed. Says, "What's up with your mouth?" Your I said I bit my lip. Uh, and you guys know that you know that that's happened. It's not funny, uh, and it hurts. <laughs> so that's what happened. Um. That's that's what's going on, and so I'm battling that the whole podcast. It does hurt, and I'm kind of trying to work around it. Plus, battling the the sneeze thing going on again. I think that's just uh, something in the in the walls or studio here. So uh, <laughs> all kinds of chaos and can, things going on. But hey, I got my fresh cup of coffee, my friends. New cup for the season. That's uh, that's my new cup, and uh, I will be having that. Plus, I got my backup, my water over here, just in case. All right, well, like I said, I'm not changing formats. We're going to keep rolling. This is going to be the basics of the channel here. Uh, as Again, uh, I told you about that story. Uh, lots of money being thrown and uh, lots of changes that uh, want you know, that, uh, that trying to happen, but I don't think I can, uh, take away what God has given me. I, you know, us that you guys that know this, you've been given a course, you've been given a mission. So you don't just change it, go, I don't like it. I mean, it doesn't work out. So really, uh, I'm just trying to hold steady and, and do the, 
you know what I've been called to do here. Uh, and I like I always tell you, hey, I appreciate you guys hanging in there with me. Uh, lots of scriptures, lots of Bible studies uh, coming your way here in this next year. Um, and again, like I said, I got everything kind of scheduled out till Friday. Uh, it's the end of the month, uh, end of the year, and then we'll see how the uh, Sunday goes. So. Anyway, stick around, stay tuned. As I always tell you, hold on, my friends. I got a whole lot more for you coming down the street here. So we're going to keep going in this hour. Again, our first hour, so kind of going into our second hour here. I don't know how long I'll be here, but uh, at least maybe another hour. We'll see it. Maybe might be two hours tonight. So uh, amen. So I want to get this out. So let's go to Titus. Uh, as our manual for Christian living here, friends. Uh, Fruits of the Spirit, Bible Ministry, let's read it. Titus, 1 through 4, I believe. All right, Paul, a servant of God, an apostle of Jesus Christ, according to the faith of God's elect, and the acknowledging of the truth, which is after godliness. And did I mention, we're on Twitch TV Live right now, friends. If you're on uh, ministry podcast live twitch tv go ahead and go on over there follow and subscribe amen i know <laughs> amen. let's go in hope of eternal life <coughs> which god that cannot lie church promised before the world began numbers twenty three nineteen. but hath in due times manifested his uh, his word through preaching which committed unto me according to the commandment of god our savior to Titus, mine own son, after the common faith, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. For this cause left I thee in Crete, that thou shouldest set in order the things that are wanting and, uh, and ordain elders in every city as I appointed thee. If any be blameless, uh, the husband of one wife, having faithful children, not accused of riot or unruly. Bear with me, folks. Uh, hang on here. All right, let's go over to the monitors here. I'm just kind of checking things out. I want to make sure everything's okay here. And then, all right. Now I'll get this posted out. Like I said, I posted it out once, uh, one, one of the channels. I want to make sure they got at least. So, all right. Uh, in hope of eternal life, which God that cannot lie promised before the world began. Numbers 23, 19. Repeat in verse 2. Let's go to 3. But hath in due times manifested his word through preaching, which is committed unto me according to the commandment of God our Savior, to Titus, mine own son, after the common faith, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ our Savior. For this cause left I thee in Crete, that thou shouldest set in order the things that are wanting and ordain elders in every city as I appointed thee. If any be blameless, the husband of one wife, having faithful children, not accused of riot or unruly, for a bishop must be blameless as the steward of God, not self-willed, not soon angry, not giving to wine or striker, not giving to filthy lucre, but a lover of hospitality and a lover of good men, sober, just, uh, holy temperate, First Timothy three two, holding fast the faithful, uh, the faithful word, as he hath been taught, that he may be able to, by sound doctrine, both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers. All right. Could uh, let's see. So go on to ten. For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the uncircumcision, that's Acts 15.1, whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. Matthew uh, 23.14 there. One of themselves, even a prophet of their own, said, The Cretans are always liars. Evil beast, slow bellies. Acts 17, 28. This witness is true, wherefore rebuke them sharply, that they may be sound in the faith, 2 Corinthians 13, 10, not giving heed to Jewish fables and commandments of men that turn from the truth. 
Under the pure all things are pure, but unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure. But even their mind and conscience is defiled. Luke 11.39 They profess that they know God, friends. How many times have we occur or seen this? They claim to know God. They walk around with the Bible. They know the, you know, whatever. But they are not in their hearts a pure mind. So I'm just saying, watch this in 16. They profess that they know God, but in works they deny him, being abominable and disobedient and unto every good work. Again, key word, reprobate, friends. We see so much of this. So, chapter 2 in Titus. But speak thou the thing which became sound doctrine, or become sound doctrine, that the aged men be sober, uh, grave, temperate, sound in faith, in charity and patience, or vigilant. The aged woman, likewise, that they be in behavior as cometh holiness, not false accusers, not given to much wine, teachers of good things, 1 Timothy 2.9, that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of God be not blasphemed. Young men likewise exhort to be sober-minded uh, or discreet, in all things shewing themselves a pattern of good works and doctrine, shewing uncorruptness, gravity, sincerity, Ephesians 6, 24, 1 Peter 5, 3. Sound speech that cannot be condemned, that he that is of the contrary part may be ashamed, uh, having no evil thing to say to you. Nehemiah 5 9, that's calling it deep, right, friends? Nehemiah 5 9, exhort servants to be obedient unto their masters, own masters, and to please them well in all things, not answering again. Uh, Ephesians 5 24, not purloining, but shewing all good fidelity that they may adorn the doctrine of God, our Savior in all things. Matthew 5, 16. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men. Luke 3, 6. Teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. Now, as teachings of the grace of God, friends, maintaining or maintain good works, let's look at verse 13, uh, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ, Acts 24, 15, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. These things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority, and let no man despise thee. All right, chapter 3 here in Titus. Put in or put them in mind to be subject to principalities and powers, to obey magistrates, to be ready to every good work, Romans 13.1. Uh, to speak evil of no man, to be no brawlers, but gentle, shewing all meekness unto all men. For we are... Uh, for we ourselves also were sometime foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving divers' lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful and hating one another. But after that, the kindness and love of God our Savior toward men appeared, 1 Timothy 2, 3. Not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost. John 3, 3, Romans 3, 20, which he shed on us abundantly through Jesus Christ our Savior, that being justified by his grace, we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. Romans 3, 24. Now this is a faithful saying, and these things I will, that thou, are, uh, thou affirm constantly, that they which have believed in God might be careful to maintain good works. And these things are good and profitable unto men. But avoid foolish questions and genealogies and contentions and strivings about the law. For they are unprofitable in vain. 1 Timothy 1.4 A man that is an heretic after the first and second ab uh, abomination reject. Uh, Matthew, again over here in Matthew 18.17 
and 2 Corinthians 13, verse 2, knowing that he, uh, that he that is such as subverted uh, and sinneth being condemned of himself. When I shall send Artemis unto thee, or Tachicus, be diligent to come unto me to Nicopolis, for I have determined there to winter. Bring Zenus, the lawyer, and Apollos on their journey diligently, that nothing be wanting unto them. And let ours also learn to maintain good works for necessary, necessary uses, that they be not unfruitful. All that are with me salute thee. Greet them that love us in the faith. Grace be with you all. Amen, church, and amen. What a good uh, good set there. So that's three. Uh, yeah, three. I, I don't. I think I was thinking there's four verses, but there's only three in Titus. All right. So second, uh, first hour here. Now, okay. So we're gonna go. Got a few more for you. Like I said, maybe two hours. I don't know. Like I said, I'm praying over the Wi-Fi, all that stuff right now. I'm claiming it, receiving it. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna roll on to Revelation four through six, friends. Kind of. Going back into some old series notes and stuff. Well, I want to go check that out. Amen. So, if you will, go to Revelation. We're going to look at 4 through 6 here real quick. And take a look at and read that out loud here, friends, together. All right. Chapter 4 in the book of Revelation. Now, after this, I looked, and behold, the door was opened in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was as it were a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither, and I will shew thee uh, things which must be hereafter. Now watch this, friends. Revelation 1.10 there. And immediately I was in the Spirit, and behold, a throne was set in heaven. And one sat on the throne, and he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and a sardine stone. Uh, and there was a rainbow round about the throne in sight, uh, in sight like unto an emerald. And round about the throne were four and twenty seats, and upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting, uh, clothed. In, as he says, let me get my notes out of the way, or my, my bookmarks out of the way, uh, as that's always a battle here. All right, what is going on with that? Well, I have to take it out. Uh, <laughs> with white raiment, as we continue, and that they had on their heads crowns of gold, verse 5, and out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunderings and voices, and there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are, friends, if you're taking notes, the seven spirits of God. And before the throne, uh, there was a sea of glass like unto crystal. Uh, and in the midst of the throne and round about the throne were four beasts full of eyes before the or before and after. Right, so bear with me. I'm going to correct something here. As you guys know what is going on with all that, it's all I kind of repeat it too much, maybe. <laughs> but uh, let me correct this uh, uh, notes out here. Give me a second. Let me take care of this. As I just saw it, I I, I miss them sometimes. I do. I I kind of go around it and miss it, but uh, as we're in there, so there there you go. That's not too bad. That was just a quick uh, uh, setup there. So, bear with me on this. All right. So, that was, um, let's see, in Revelation uh, 4, verse 6 there, as he talks about the four beasts full of eyes before and behind. So, let's go on to 7. And the first beast was like a lion. Again. Uh, and the second beast was like a calf, and the third beast had a face as a man, and the fourth beast was like a flying eagle. Again, seeing those statutes pop up all over, this, all over the country. Things were coming down. These were being put up the last three years. So, and the four beasts, and each of them six wings, 
about him, and they were full of wise within, and they rest not uh, rest not day and night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which was and is to come. And when those beasts give glory and honor and thanks to him that sat on the throne, who liveth forever and ever, Revelation uh, 1, uh, 19 there, uh, or 18 there, Revelation 1, 18 on that one. The four and twenty elders fell down before him that sat on the throne and worshiped him that liveth forever and ever and cast their crowns before the throne, saying, Thou art worthy, O Lord, <clears throat> to receive glory and honor and power, for thou hast created all things for thy pleasure. They are and were created, Genesis 1, 1 on that. Now let's go on to chapter 5 here in Revelation. And I saw on the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within, and the backside uh, sealed with seven seals. And I had a strong, uh, let's see, I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, who is worthy to open the book, and to loose the seals thereof. And no man in heaven nor on earth, and neither under the earth was able to open the book, neither to look upon them, or thereon, Revelation 5.13. And I wept much, because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. And I behold, uh, lo, in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent forth unto all the earth. And he came, <clears throat> and he came, <coughs> Sorry about that, friends. You know how it is. All right. And took the book out of the right hand of him that uh, sat upon the throne. Revelation 4.2. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials of uh, full of odors, which are the prayers of saints. That's uh, amen there, right? All right. Boy, I tell you, I got so many bookmarks in this Bible for all the major, uh, you know, scriptures that I, I go to and read and, and throughout the Bible studies that uh, they, I kind of fight with them. I Maybe I'll have to duct tape them down or something. I don't know, my friends. I don't know. Anyway, I let's see if I can keep that rolling here. So we're in Revelations 4 through 6, and we were at chapter 5 here, and verse 9. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. For thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to God by their blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. And hast made us unto our, uh, unto our gods and kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. Exodus 19.6 And I beheld and heard the voice of many angels round about the throne and the beasts and the elders, and the numbers of them was ten thousand times ten thousand and thousands of thousands. Psalm 68.17 Saying with a loud voice, Worthy, church, is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory uh, and blessing. And every creature which is in heaven and on the earth and under the sea and such as are in the sea and all that are in them heard I say blessing and honor and glory and power be unto them that sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb forever and ever. And the four beasts and said amen and the four and twenty elders fell down and worshiped him that liveth forever and ever all right we're going to roll on to chapter six here friends amen and i saw when the lamb opened one of the seals and heard and it was the noises of thunder one of the four beasts saying come and see and i saw and behold a white horse 
Uh, he says that, uh, and he that sat on him had a bowl, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. And uh, that's going to be over in Psalm 45, 4 and Revelation 14, 4. Uh, and when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, come and see. And there went out another uh, horse that was red. Uh, let's see, and the power is given to him that sat there on to take peace from the earth, and they that they should kill one another. And it was given unto him a great sword, Zechariah uh, 6, 2 on that one, friends. So there you go. Uh, and when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, come and see, <clears throat> and I and beheld, and I beheld, uh, lo, a black horse, and he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts saying, Measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny, and see thou hurt not the oil and the wine. And when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth beast say, Come and see. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse. Let me get the notes together there. Uh, and his name that sat on him was Death. And hell followed with him. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with a sword and with hunger and with death and with the beasts of the earth. Leviticus 26.22, Zechariah 6.3. And when he had opened the fifth seal... I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God, friends, uh, and for the testimony which they held, 2 Timothy 1.8. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? And, when, uh, and white robes were given unto every one of them. And it was said unto them that they should rest for a little while, or for a little season, until their fellow servants also uh, and their brethren that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled, friends. All right, uh, Hebrews 11.40. And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. As we talked about this so many times, and days, uh, the solar eclipse and the blood moon, friends. So there you go on that one. Thirteen, and the stars of heaven fell into the earth, even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs, when she is shaken uh, of a mighty wind. And the heaven departed as a scroll when it uh, it is rolled together and every mountain and island were moved out of their places. And the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men uh, and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bondman and every free man hid themselves in the dens, watch this, and in the rocks of the mountains. And said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne. And when the wrath of the Lamb, uh, it's going to be over in uh, Hosea 10 8. For the great day of his wrath is to come, and who shall be able to stand? So there you go, friends. There's your homework. The rest of Revelation, check it out. Don't be scared, friends. That's got a lot of information that we need to know. Amen. All right. So Revelation 4, 6, again, still in our, well, we're going on a, our second hour here. So you guys are live this morning uh, doing a replay kind of thing. Y'all know. All right. So. Back to that one. Got a few more for you. We'll see how it goes here. Uh, probably going to be close to the two hour, or at least a little after two hours on this one again, as I, I try to anyway. I want to get caught, kind of caught up and give you guys some good scriptures as always. All right. Uh, let's see. Bounce over here to the book of Matthew, my friends. Can we do that? Can we jump over there? 
Long scriptures, pretty long-winded verses here, but uh, it's I want to share them with you again and go back in the notes. All right, so let's go ahead and read it. Matthew 24, uh, let's see here. Oh, 23 and 24. Okay, that's we're not going to 25, we're going to 23. I know, I get kind of lost in there. Um, let's see. Three. There it is. All right. And again, top of the hours, I told you, I bit my lip <laughs> right before I came on, uh, just seconds before I started the podcast. Uh, <laughs> it's always something, friends, right? So that's what I'm dealing with, and that's that's why I kind of keep adjusting <laughs> myself because, oh, it's not easy, friends. But, you know. It is a blessing to be able to do this. I'm grateful that I get to do this. Uh, pretty awesome. And I can't see. I can't see the the monitor. I, I'm looking right at my laptop here, channel one. I can't see the screen. It's all blurry. I I'm praying for eyesight to be healed uh, and recovered. But uh, last doctor checkup for my eyesight. I told you before. Last eyesight. He says I'm going blind, and within four maybe four or five years four years i don't know he's saying i'm i'm not going to be able to see anymore so i'm praying against that my friends not only the <laughs> the rib issues and the hernia i was dealing with uh they piled that on and said oh you know you're you're losing your eyesight it's just a matter of time it, I, so i'm wearing glass you know my glasses about the best i can uh and i they keep getting stronger on me uh, every purchase, uh, I, I add a notch to it. So if that's what I got to do, uh, you know, I'm playing, I'm, I'm praying the blood of Jesus on my healing friends. And, and again, thank you guys for your prayers and, uh, you know, your support and patience here. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's the last, uh, the last eye doctor I talked to. Said, oh, yeah, you're going blind. You're going to lose your sight in about four years. And uh, I'm like, well, okay. Uh, but uh, there are precautions and there are things I can do. So I am listening to advice. So anyway, there's your, again, quick medical update here, friends. You guys know how transparent I am. I lay it on the line. This is what's going on. Uh, again, all these this podcasts are not based on me. It's uh, what's going on. I, I just want to update you on uh, situations and uh, let you know what's happening. But uh, again, trying to uh, just be obedient to what God has given me to, to do here. My, my mission, right? I'm on mission. All right. So speaking of on mission here, friends, let's get to Matthew 23 and 24. Amen. Let's go ahead and read that together. As we go into our uh, second hour here, friends. Now then spake Jesus to the multitude and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. All therefore whatsoever they bid you observe, that observe and do. And do not ye after their works, for they say, and do not. Romans 2.19 for they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be borne, and lay them on men's shoulders. Uh, but they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers. Uh, Luke eleven forty six, Galatians six thirteen. But all their works they do for to be seen of men. Again, so on point with the scripture. Uh, he says, but all their works. Uh, they do, for to be seen of men, they make broad their phylacteries and enlarge their borders of their garments, the borders of their garments, and love the uppermost rooms at feasts and the chief seats in the synagogues, Mark 12, 38, and greetings in the markets, and to be called of men, Rabbi, Rabbi, be ye not called Rabbi, for one is your master, even Christ, all ye are brethren. And call no man your father upon the earth, for one is your father which is in heaven. Malachi one six, and neither be called, uh, be ye called master, for one is your master, 
even Christ. But he that is greatest among you shall be your servant. And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased. And he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. Amen. Right? Amen. Amen. Let's correct that spot here because that's been bugging me as well. <laughs> Ah, oh, so much work to do on this stuff, you know, as I said here. Uh, let's see, I'm not going to mess with that too much. I think it'll be okay. All right. So, uh, as I believe, 23, right? Where are we at here? So, as we repeat 12, watch this, friends. And whosoever shall exalt himself shall, uh, himself shall be abased. And he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. But woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. For ye neither go in yourselves, neither suffer ye them that are entering to go in. Luke 11.52 Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye devour widows' houses, and for a pretense, make long prayer, therefore ye shall receive the greater damnation. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you compass sea and land to make one proselyte, and when he is made, ye make him twofold more than a child of hell than of yourselves, or than yourselves. Woe unto you, ye blind guides, which say, uh, whosoever shall swear by the temple, it is nothing. But whosoever shall swear by the gold of the temple, uh, he is a debtor. Matthew, uh, we got uh, Matthew 5.33. Ye fools and blind, for whether is greater gold or the temple, uh, let's see, or the temple that sanctifieth the gold. Exodus 30, verse 29. And whosoever shall swear by the altar, it is nothing, but whosoever sweareth by the gift that is upon it, he is guilty. Ye fools and blind, for whether is greater, the gift or the altar that sanctifieth the gift. Whoso therefore shall swear by the altar, sweareth by it and by all things uh, therein. And whoso shall swear by the temple, sweareth by it, and by him that dwelleth therein. And he that swear by heaven, sweareth by the throne of God, and by him that sitteth thereon. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye pay tithe of mint and anise and cumin, and have omitted the weightier matters of the law, judgment, mercy, and faith. Amen. Now these ought ye to have done, and to not leave the other undone. Ye blind guides would strain at a gnat, and swallow a camel. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you make it clean, or make clean the outside of the cup uh, and the platter, but within they are full of extortion and excess, as Mark 7, 4, I believe on that one. Thou blind Pharisee, clean or cleanse first that which is within the cup and the platter, that the outside of them may be clean also. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you are like unto whited uh, sepulchres, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but are within full of dead men's bones and of all uncleanness. Luke 11.44 even so, ye also outwardly appear righteous unto men, but within ye are full of hypocrisy, which, again, clearly are seeing every, all the time here, uh, hypocrisy and iniquity. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, uh, hypocrites, because, as he continues here, he says, uh, because ye... Uh, build the tombs of the prophets and garnish the sepulchers of the righteous. Luke 11.47 And say, if we had been in the days of our fathers, we would not have been partakers within them, uh, them or with them in the blood of the prophets. Wherefore ye be witnesses unto yourself that ye are the children of them which killed the prophets. 
fill ye up then the measures of your fathers, or the measure of your fathers, Genesis 15, 6, ye serpents, ye generation of vipers. How can ye escape the damnation of hell? Matthew, over here in Matthew 3, 7. Now, wherefore, behold, I send, you on, uh, send unto you prophets and wise men and scribes. Some of them uh, ye shall kill and crucify, and some of them shall scourge, or ye shall scourge in your synagogues, and persecute them from city to city. That upon you may come all the righteous blood shed upon the earth, from the blood of the righteous Abel unto the blood of Zacharias, son of Berechias, whom he slew between the temple and the altar, Genesis 4, 8. And verily I say unto you, all these things shall come upon this generation. O Jerusalem, he says, and cries out, Jerusalem! Thou that killest the prophets and stonest them which are sent unto thee, how often would I have gathered thy children together, even as a hen gathereth her chickens under her wings, and you would not. Deuteronomy 32, 11 there on that one. Ah, behold, your house is left unto you desolate. For I say unto you, you shall not see me henceforth till you shall say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord, friends. Amen. All right, watching the clocks here. Chapter four, 24 in the book of Matthew. And Jesus went out and departed from the temple, and his disciples came to him for to shew him the buildings of the temple. And Jesus said unto them, uh, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, there shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. 1 Kings 9, 7 and Micah. Back in the book of Micah 3, 12, friends. All right. Uh, we got three. As he sat uh, upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately saying, Tell us. Again, lots of questions here that we ask sometimes ourselves. When... Shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming? And of the end of the world, Mark 13, 3. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Uh, Ephesians 5, 6. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. Again, in times, we see this every day. And shall deceive men. Jeremiah 14, 14. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise up against nation, or rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence, and earthquakes in divers places. And all these things are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another, Matthew eleven six. And many false prophets shall rise, and shall deceive many. Uh, boy, I tell you, friends, uh, very, very, uh, like, spot on here. Friends, we're we're in time seeing this. So he says here in eleven, many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall uh, be saved. Again, if you're writing notes there, uh, and the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come, Matthew 4.23, Colossians 1.6 there. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place. Uh, who Whoso readeth, let him understand, Daniel 9.23, Mark 13.14 uh, there. Then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. And let them which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house. And neither let him which is in the field return back to his clothes. And woe unto them that are with child and to them 
that give suck in those days. That's Luke 23, uh, 29 there. Uh, but pray, he says, that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. But then shall great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, nor, or no, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, again, as we saw December just fly right by us here, friends. We're only a week this this week here at the end of the month, at the end of the year. The days shall be shortened, and there should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened again. Uh, Isaiah 65, 8. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ. Or therefore, or there, believe it not, friends. Mark 13, 21. For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets, and shall shew great signs and wonders, inasmuch that if it were possible, they should deceive the very elects. And behold, I have told you before, Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, go not forth. And behold, he is in the secret chambers, believe it not. For as the lightning cometh out of the east, and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be, Luke 17, 24. For whosoever the carcass is, or wheresoever the carcass is, there will be the eagles gathered together, Job 39, and I believe that's 30. i got to fix this again here. Mercy. I don't know how this stuff gets so messed up, but it, it sure does. Uh, for some reason, it just kind of smears, and uh, I can't read it. I, I don't know what it says, uh, which I've had plenty of uh, problems in the past. Uh, with that looking at I mean I know the word I know what it is and I know what it says but boy when you first see that it throws you off it likes what, what it, well, that's telephone no that's te telephone in the Bible there so anyway that's it just smears and that's what I've been trying to cor uh, correct there so that's uh, Job 3930 uh, all right so let's roll on through it uh, Job 3930 there it is so let's go to 29 Again, blood moons, end times, prophecies are right here. Immediately after the tribulation of those days uh, shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall, as they are predicting, right, from the sky, right, from heaven. And the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Isaiah 13, verse 10. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Daniel 7, 13 there. And they shall send his angels after a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds and from the end of heaven to the other. From one end of heaven to the other, by the way. Matthew 13, 41. Now learn a parable of the fig tree. When his branch is yet tender and putteth forth leaves, ye know that summer is nigh. Luke 21, 29. So likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near even at the doors. All right. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. Matthew 16, 28. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. Psalm 102, 26. Jeremiah 31, 35. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, as we know, uh, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and knew not until the flood came and took them away, or all away, and so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Then shall two be in the field, the one shall be taken and the other left. 
Uh, Luke 17, 34, 41, two women shall be grinding at the mill. The one shall be taken and the other left, as we talk about the rapture there. Now watch, therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord cometh, friends. All right, uh, or doth come. But know this, that if the good man of the house had known in that which the thief would come, uh, he would have watched and would have not have suffered his house to be broken up. Luke 12:39. Therefore, hold on. All right, let's see if I can't get that down a little bit more. All right, uh, let's see. So, 44. Therefore, be ye also ready for, again, kind of repeating this verse, uh, in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh. Who then is faithful and wise servant, whom his Lord uh, hath made ruler over his household, to give them meat in due season? Luke 12, 42. Blessed is that servant, whom his Lord, when he uh, cometh, shall find so doing. Revelation 16, verse 15 there. And verily I say unto you, that he shall make him ruler over all his goods, Matthew 25, 21, and Luke 22, verse 29. But, and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, My Lord delayeth his coming, and shall begin to smite his fellow servants, and to eat and drink with the drunken, the Lord of that servant, uh, as he says here, shall come in a day when he looketh not for him and in an hour that he is not aware of, and shall cut him asunder and appoint him as portion of the hypocrites, and there shall be weeping and gnashing of the teeth. And there you go. So we got uh, 23 and 24 in the book of uh, Matthew there, friends. So as he says here, God knows the day and the hour, friends, and we got to be watchful, mindful stewards right there. All right. So there you go. All right. So we're going to keep going here. Like I said, a little over two hours. I'd like to bring you a little bit of a minute, uh, podcast here, uh, friends. And uh, again, I got uh, one post out. I will go back and repost all this, th this whole podcast out to the other channels. But I did want to get some just one out to you know uh, one of the channels there and of course you're live on uh we got x going on right now live we got twitch tv going live uh link in wherever you guys listen and watch your podcast amen all right so let's check the channels here want to make sure that is uh, up and running here all right, all right, all right. Uh, amen. All right. All right, all right. Give me a minute here. And we're going to go rolling on here. All right, so just checking a couple of channels here. I want to make sure everything was uh, rolling live. And again, if you guys are on X, follow me over there. Uh, that would uh, help a lot. But I appreciate you guys dropping by live right now on X. Uh, amen. All right. So that's going. And we got all the channels up and running. Uh, amen. All right. So hold on here. Checking the phone lines on the hotline, <laughs> my friend. Want to make sure that is going here. I want to make sure everything's going okay. Uh, amen. All right. So I think that's okay. Um, we're, we're doing good on that one so far. All right. Uh, let's see. I'm going to pop that one up. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't get that one up here. Amen. Twitch is on. We're good here, friends. Got a few more for you. Like I said, we're going to Micah. Uh, it's going to be over in Micah. Uh, chapters 1 through 3, friends, on that one. 
So let's go over there. If I can find it. Uh, <laughs> let me see if I can't find the word here this morning, my friends. Micah, there it is. All right. Uh, let's see. Again, a few more. So we'll see. I'll kind of run through things and see how it goes. We got Micah, uh, friends, the book of Micah, chapters, uh, what did I say, one through three. That is the sixth book of the Minor Prophets, friends. When I went back and did that uh, series on the Minor Prophets, so we're going to kind of go back into it and check it out. Uh, all right, let's stretch out, grab that fresh squeezed cup of coffee this morning, friends. Just uh, almost 6 a.m. here. On a delayed broadcast podcast from Sunday, the 24th, friends, 1030. All right, the word of the Lord, brothers and sisters, church. Good morning to you on this Christmas morning here. <laughs> Again, a little delayed podcast, but I kept all the information the same as the last, uh, last few times I was on Restream. All right, the word of the Lord that came to Micah the Marathite, uh, Morisite, uh, in the days of Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah, which he saw concerning Samariah or Sam, Samaria, got to sound it out old school, uh, and Jerusalem. Jeremiah, what is got? Jeremiah 26 18. Hear all ye people. Uh, hearken, O earth, and all that therein is, and let the Lord God be witness against you, the Lord from his holy temple. For behold, the Lord cometh forth out of his place, and will come down and tread upon the high places of the earth. And the mountains shall be molten under him, and the valley shall be cleft, as wax before the fire, and as the waters that are poured uh, down a steep place. For the transgression of Jacob is all that, and for the sins of the house of Israel, which is, or what is the let's see, transgression of Jacob? Is it not Samaria? That's what it is. I, I'm thinking Samaria, but it's Samaria. <laughs> I know. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's go back. Uh, and what are the high places of Judah? Are they not Jerusalem? Therefore, I will make Samaria as in a heap of the field and as the planting of a vineyard, and I will pour down the stones thereof into the valley and will discover the foundations thereof. Second Kings 19.25, friends, and Micah 3.12 for that. And all the graven images thereof shall be beaten to pieces. And all the hires, therefore, shall be burned with a fire. And all the idols thereof will I lay desolate, for she gathered it of the hire of an harlot. And they shall return to the hire of an harlot. And therefore I will wail in hell, I will go stripped and naked, I will make a wailing like the dragons, and the morning as the owls, Job thirty twenty nine. For her wound is incurable, for it is common to Judah. Uh, he is common to the gate of my people, even to Jerusalem, Second Kings 18.13. And declare ye it not at Gath, weep ye not at all in the house of Aphra. Roll thyself in the dust, pass ye away, thou inhabitant of Saphir. Having thy shame naked in the inhabitant of Zenon, Come not forth in the morning of Bethesel, or Bethesel, right? However you pronounce it, uh, he shall receive of you his standing. For the inhabitant of Marath waited carefully for good, but evil came down from the Lord under the gate of heaven of Jerusalem there, right? Or was greed, right? O thou inhabitant of Lachish, bind the chariot to the swift beast. She is the beginning of sin to the daughter of Zion. For the transgressions of Israel were found in thee, friends. There you go. Uh, Therefore shalt thou give presents to Morisith, Gath. The house of Ashgib, or Ashib, shall be a lie to the kings of Israel. Or yet will I bring on an heir, or an heir, not a heir, but an heir, 
unto thee, O inhabitant of Mersha. He shall come unto Adalam, the glory of Israel. Make thee bald and uh, pull thee for thy delicate children. Enlarge thy baldness as the eagle. They are gone into captivity from me. Now let's move on to chapter 2 here in the book of Micah. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is the power of their hands. Genesis 31, 29, and you're in your second hour, my friends, on, a again, a delayed podcast. But, hey, we're going to move on, and I'm going to put it out there. We'll see you uh, as we are on Christmas morning here, friends. All right, they covet fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage, uh, or defraud him, uh, as I says in Isaiah 5, 8. And therefore thus saith the Lord, Behold, against this family uh, do I devise an evil, from which ye shall not remove your necks, uh, neither uh, shall ye go haughty, for this time is evil. In that day shall one take up a parable against you uh, and lament with a doleful lamentation and say, We be truly spoiled. He hath changed the portion of my man, uh, my people. How hath he removed it from me? Turning away, he hath divided our fields. And therefore thou shalt have none that cast a cord by lot in the congregation of the Lord. Philo- uh, prophecy. Not philosophy, I don't know where that came from. Uh, prophesy ye not. Say they to them, them that prophesy, they shall not prophesy to them that they should not take shame. Isaiah 30 verse 10. O thou that art named the house of Jacob, is the spirit of the Lord straightened? Are these his doings? Do not my words do good to him that walketh uprightly? Uh, even of my late, or even of late, my people is risen up as an enemy. Ye put or pull on the robe that the garment, I think that's put, uh, on the robe with the garment from them that pass by securely as men of, uh, adverse from war. The woman of my people have be cast out from their pleasant houses. From their children have be taken away my glory forever. Arise ye and depart. This is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. If a man walketh in the spirit, falsehood do lie, saying, I will prophesy unto thee of the wine and the strong drink, and shall even by the prophet of this people. Ezekiel 13, verse 3. I will surely assemble, O Jacob, all of thee. I will surely gather the remnants of Israel. I will put them together as the sheep of Bozra, or Basra, as the flock in the midst of their fold, and they shall make great noise by reason of the multitude of men. Now the breaker is come up before them. They have broken up and have passed through the gate and are gone out by it and their king shall pass uh, before, let's see, as we get that together, of them and the Lord of the head of them. And we've got Micah 3, chapter 3 here. And I said, hear, I pray you, O heads of Jacob and ye princes of the house of Israel. Israel, uh, is it not for you to know judgment? Jeremiah 5, 4. Who hate the good and love the evil, who pluck off their skin from off them and their flesh from off their bones, who also eat the flesh of my people and flay their skin from off them, and they break their bones and chop them in pieces, as for the pot, and as flesh within the cauldron. And they shall, then shall they cry unto the Lord, but he will not hear them. He will even hide his face from them at that time, as they behave themselves ill in all their doings, or in their doings, Psalm 1841. Thus saith the Lord concerning the prophets that make my people err, 
that bite with their teeth and cry peace, and he that putteth not in their mouths, they even prepare war against him. Isaiah 56.10, Micah 2.11, And therefore night shall be unto you, they, that ye shall not have a vision, and it shall be dark unto you, that ye shall not divine, and the sun shall go under over the prophets, and the day shall be dark over them. Isaiah 8.20, Then shall the seers be ashamed, and the diviners uh, confounded, yea, they shall all cover their lips. And there is no answer of God. All right, come on now, Psalm 74, 9. But truly I am full of power by the Spirit of the Lord and of judgment. Uh, let's see. And of might to declare unto Jacob his transgressions. And there it is. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So we've got... Um, the transgressions into Israel, his sin. That was in verse 8. Let's go to verse 9. Hear this, I pray you, ye heads of the house of Jacob, and princes of the house of Israel, that adore judgment and fervent or pervert all uh, equity. They build up Zion with blood and Jerusalem with iniquity. The heads, therefore, judge for reward, and the priests thereof teach for hire. And the prophets thereof divine for money. Yet will they lean upon the Lord, friends, and say, Is not the Lord among us? Uh, let's see. None evil can come upon us. Isaiah 123, Ezekiel 22, 12. And therefore shall Zion, <clears throat> uh, for your sake, be plowed as a field, uh, as a field in Jerusalem shall become heaps. And the mountain of the house of the high places of the forest. Psalm 79, 1 and Micah 1, 6. And we've got a few more left of Micah. Go ahead and read that, friends, in your uh, Bible time, in your study time. Uh, if you get that opportunity, go ahead and take, uh, take that right there and go ahead and read the rest of Micah. All right. Uh, like I said, a few more for you. We're in our second hour, friends. Uh, let's see. Well, we can go to... Uh, Hebrews, I believe, friends. Let's go ahead and do that. Oops, there's my microphone. Uh, <laughs> making noise in channel three right there. All right, Micah, Micah, or, or not Micah, uh, Hebrews, friends. We want to go to that. I know where it's at. I know. All right, let's see. There it is. Okay. Nope, that's not even it either. We are way off on that one, friends. So bear with me. I'm going to change that. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking there. Mercy. That's terrible. Uh, I know that that's Galatians. So maybe I was thinking of Galatians instead of Hebrews. Well, all right. Well, I'm going to fix that. I think we will do Hebrews or not. Uh, we'll do Galatians. Uh, friends. Let's change this out. Let's move that down. And I'll go ahead and look that up. All right. Uh, let's see. So let me fix that. And we will change this out, uh, friends. And we're going to go ahead and read Galatians. Uh, friends, we're going to, I think, chapter 10, maybe. Uh, as I correct myself here, mercy, I knew that was kind of coming uh, and happening there. So I kind of wanted to make sure I fixed that part out. Uh, as it always happens here, friends, you guys know, you know, you've been watching the podcast many, many years here, decades now. Uh, you kind of know, I'm uh, you know, uh, things change on me. Uh, they, I never know uh, what I'm, what I'm reading here. But um, all right, so yeah, Galatians, friends. I, uh, where do we want to go? We, I think we're just gonna go uh, one, maybe one and two. Three is pretty long, and I do want to get to uh, a couple more scriptures. I don't want to add too much into this one. 
So bear with me, because uh, we've gone through this quite a bit. So maybe we'll just do uh, Galatians 1 and 2. Right, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's write that in the scripture schedule. Uh, amen. And yeah, let's go ahead and throw that in there, friends. Let's let's go ahead and run with that. Uh, Galatians one and two, friends, on this one. So let's go ahead and do that. That'll be a good uh, good podcast message there in the book of Galatians. So let's go ahead and do that right now, my friends. All right, second hour. Good morning to you, friends. Christmas morning. Amen on a reset. Uh, continuation. All right, Galatians 1 and 2 here, friends. Paul, an apostle, not of men, neither by man, uh, but by Jesus Christ and God, the Father, who raised him from the dead. And all the brethren which are with me unto the churches of Galatia. 1 Corinthians 16, 1. Grace be to you and peace from God the Father uh, and from our Lord uh, Jesus Christ. Romans 1, 7. Who gave himself, friends, for our sins, that he might deliver us from this present evil world according to the will of God and our Father. All right, five, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you that would pervert the gospel of Christ. But though we or an angel uh, from heaven preach any other gospel unto you, then that which ye have preached unto you, let him be accursed. 1 Corinthians uh, sac, let's see, 16.22. As we said before, friends, give me a minute. My, oops, and there goes my page. I'll have to take that up in a minute, bit there. Uh, let's see, he says, But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you, let him be accursed. 1 Corinthians 16, 22. As we said before, friends, so say I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you than ye, or that ye have received, let him be accursed. For do I now persuade men or God? Or do I seek to please men? For if I yet pleased men, I should not be the servant of Christ. Uh, 1 Samuel 24, 7. But I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached of me is not after men. For I neither received it of men, neither was I taught it, but by the revelation of Jesus Christ. All uh, right. Uh, for ye have heard of my conversation in time past in the Jews' religion, how that beyond measure I persecuted the church of God and wasted it. Acts 8, 3 on that one and profited in the Jews' religion about many my equals in mine own nation, uh, being more exceedingly zealous of the traditions of my father, Jeremiah, or fathers. Uh, that's plural, not singular. There you go. Jeremiah 9.14. But when it pleased God who separated me from my mother's womb and called me, friends, watch this, by his grace. There you go to reveal his son in me, that I might preach him among the heathen. Immediately I conferred not with flesh and blood, neither went I up to Jerusalem to them which were apostles before me. But I went unto Arabia and returned again unto Damascus. Then after three years I went up to Jerusalem to see Peter and abode with him fifteen days. But other of the apostles... Saw I none, save James the Lord's brother. Now the things which I write unto you, behold, before God I lie not. Uh, it's going to be over Romans 9.1. Afterwards I came into the regions of Syria and Cilicia, and was unknown by face unto the churches of Judea, which were in Christ. Uh, Romans 16.7. But they had heard only that uh, he which persecuted us in times past now preacheth the faith which once he destroyed, and they glorified God in me. That's uh, that's quite the uh, quite the, the, the 
verse there, friends, as uh, we know the conversion between uh, Saul to Paul. That's uh, quite the story there, quite the uh, testimony. Amen. All right, so let's roll on down to chapter 2, friends. Now, then 14 years after, I went up again to Jerusalem with Barnabas and took Titus with me, also, Acts 15, 2. And I went up by revelation and communicated unto them the gospel which I preach uh, among the Gentiles, the non-Jews, but privately to them which were of reputation, lest by any means I should run or had run in vain. But neither Titus, who was with me, being a Greek, was compelled to be circumcised, and that because of false brethren unawares brought in who came in privily to spy out our liberty, uh, which we have in Christ Jesus, and they might bring us into bondage, to whom we gave place by subjection. No, he says, not for an hour that the truth of the gospel might continue with you. Galatians 2.14. And we've got just a little bit more here. But, as we are defending the gospel here, but of these who seemed to be somewhat whatsoever they were, it maketh no matter to me. God accepteth uh, no man's person. For they who seemed to be somewhat in conference added nothing to me. Acts 10.34. But contrary wise, when they saw that that uh, that the gospel of the uncircumcision was committed unto me, as the gospel of the circumcision was unto Peter, and that is Acts thirteen forty six, for he that wrought effectually in Peter to the apostleship of the circumcision, of the same was mighty in me toward the Gentiles. Acts nine fifteen, and when James, Cephas, and John, who seems to be pillars perceived the grace that was given unto me, they gave to me and Barnabas the right hands of fellowship that we should go into the heathen uh, and they under the circumcision. Only they would that we should remember the poor, the same which I also was forward to do. Acts 11.30 But when Peter was come to Antioch, I withstood him to the face because he was to be blamed. For before, in 12 here, uh, came from James, he did eat from the Gentiles, or with the Gentiles, and when they were come, he withdrew and separated himself, fearing which were of the uncircumcision. Acts 10.28 And the other Jews dissembled, uh, disassembled uh, likewise with him, as we see a comparison to this right now, friends. All right, so again, pretty pretty spot-on scriptures here. Uh, so much that Barnabas also was carried away with their dissimulation. But when I saw that they walked not, up, not uprightly according to the truth of the gospel, I said unto Peter before them all, If thou, being a Jew, livest after the manner of, uh, of Gentiles, let's see, after the men of Gentiles, and not as the, do the Jews, they, why compellest thou the Gentiles to live as do the Jews? All right, uh, let's see, Acts 10, 28, 1 Timothy 5, 20. We who are Jews by nature and not sinners of the Gentiles, knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Jesus Christ, even we uh, have believed in Jesus Christ that we might be justified by the faith of Christ and not by the works of the law. For by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. Psalm 143, verse 2. Ah, but if while we seek to be justified by Christ, we ourselves also are found sinners. Is therefore Christ the minister of sin? God forbid. For if I build again the things which I destroyed, I make myself a transgressor. For I, through the law, am dead to the law, and that I might live unto God. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. 
And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. That is uh, that agape love, friends, Romans 6, verse 6. I do not frustrate the grace of God, for if righteousness came by the law, then Christ is dead in vain. And again, more extra homework, friends. Chapter 3 in the uh, rest of Galatians. That's pretty cool stuff there. Pretty good verses there. All right. So that was Galatians just 1 and 2 here, friends. And I think what I want to do, friends, I'm going to close out with one more verse. I, we're not going to go for much further here. Uh, so I'm going to change this out a bit. We're going to close out uh, here, friends. All right. Well, as you guys know, like I said, I just never know when I'm going to get an opportunity here to go back on. So things change rapidly here all the time uh, with everything going on. So I don't know. All right. So let's change this out again. I want to change the message out here. And... I'll work on the rest of this after the podcast, but I just wanted to make for my own notes uh, just to uh, fix this part here where I kind of messed up, but uh, I should have put the shorter one on uh, the scripture. It's not really all that short. It's actually longer than than usual, 25 verses. But uh, let's see if I can do this real quick. And then, like I said, we'll go ahead and, and close out. So. Or maybe, I don't know, we're we're at over two hours anyway, so uh, I might save that for the next podcast here and just go to my notes, so, which probably that's what I'll end up doing, so uh, we'll just close out here, so give me a minute and let me go ahead and fix this out. Oh, Mercer, my friends, always changing something, right? You know, as the spirit hits me and as I get uh, called to do it, I just got to kind of work around it. So thank you guys again for being so patient here. All right. Um, And like I said, I think we'll close out there. I'll go ahead and go back to my other notes, uh, friends, and we'll close her down. Amen. And let's switch that one out. um, Again, thanks for being so patient with me here, friends. All right. Okay, get that out of the way. (laughs) I never know. All right, so that is taken care of. We'll maneuver that. Go into our notes again and uh, go back into that. So, amen. All right, so there you go on that one. Take care of that. Oops. All right, well, that's, I think we'll, we'll do that, uh, friends, and... Uh, We'll save those. I'll rewrite that, change that out for the next podcast here. Uh, Again, I don't know if I'm going to get back on later tonight. We'll we'll see how things go. Uh, But uh, yeah, I think uh, I think we'll leave it at that, and uh, I'll just fix this from (laughs) when I get a chance here after the podcast. Uh, I'll take care of that, and uh, then we'll go ahead and do that. So, uh, let's see. All right. Let's see. Um, So, let me go ahead and go there here. Go there on this one. And my pen is running out of ink or something. That's not good. All right. So we'll go ahead and fix that up here in a bit. All right. Give me a minute here, friends. Let me correct this stuff. All right. So 
if you will, go back to your Bibles. We're going to close out with a couple of quick notes here. Actually, maybe just one. You guys can read the other one uh, on your ch when you get a chance here. I like to read them both, but uh, time-wise, I don't want to go too much further. So let's go to Psalm 91. Let's close out the podcast with that. Friends, he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge, my Elohim, of course, my God in whom I trust, for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. Uh, his faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you, and you will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. Because you have made uh, the Lord your dwelling place, the Most High, who is my refuge, and no evil shall be, uh, be allowed to fall befall uh, you, right? Or be allowed to fall befall you. No plague come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against the stone. And you will tread on the lion and the adder and the young lion and the serpent uh, you will trample underfoot. Because he holds fast to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will not be with him in trouble, or I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue and honor him with long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation or Yahusha. And there you go, friends. You guys can read Psalm 23 on your own time when you get an opportunity there. Go ahead and do that. And it's a wrap. Thank you guys for being here on this uh, kind of late, delayed podcast here. Uh, bless you guys so much. Thank you guys for your support. Thank you guys for hanging out uh, for another couple hours here. Uh, that's it. All right. Uh, Radio.co. Talk to you on the next broadcast. Pastor Rick here for the uh, Sunday night 1030 podcast uh, at the uh, 12th, uh, the December 24th yesterday. <laughs> Amen. All right. See you soon, friends. Talk to you soon. All right. There you go. Our backup line on Channel 3 Spreaker. See you on the next one, friends. Take care. Talk to you soon. All right, that's loading up there. We're going to close out our broadcast here on Spreaker. Thank you guys again for your uh, massive continued support. I really appreciate that. Uh, amen. I'll get all that straightened out and taken care of here in a bit. Uh, all right, so Spreaker, I'll get this uploaded. You guys take care. Talk to you soon. Pastor Rick here again. Talk to you soon. And take care, friends. Good morning. Good morning to you. Amen. See you soon. Hold on, uh, Restream TV and Twitch TV and all those guys. Thank you. And again, hold on here. All right, see you soon.